atrial septal defect. Clinical deterioration occurs in adults rather than in children, and it's usually after the age of 40 years that the patient starts to develop complications, and these include atrial fibrillation, paroxysmal atrial tachycardia, right ventricular volume overload and right heart failure, pulmonary artery hypertension, Eisenmenger syndrome, which is cyanosis due to a reversal of the shunt, and decreased ventricular compliance, causing an increase in shunt. On examination, we look at the pulse and we look for atrial fibrillation, flutter, paroxysmal atrial tachycardia. The blood pressure is examined in both the upper limbs and one lower limb. The JVP, we look for a prominent A wave due to increased volume in the right atrium due to the left to right shunt. We look for a rapid X and Y descent in a developing tricuspid regurgitation. We look at the respiratory rate, which may be high due to increased pulmonary blood flow. We look for pallor, clubbing, and cyanosis. Cyanosis would be indicative of an Isamenga syndrome. Clubbing as well. We typically feel a right ventricular impulse for the apex beat, which could be hyperdynamic due to a volume overload, or it could be later a heaving impulse when pulmonary artery hypertension develops. A precordial bulge and a parasternal impulse is due to a right ventricular enlargement. Visible pulsations of the pulmonary artery may be seen if there's pulmonary artery hypertension present. There can be a palpable P2 and an ejection click due to the enlarged pulmonary artery. We hear a wide fixed split of the ester, which is characteristic of an ASD, but this is not present if there is pulmonary artery hypertension. We also hear a loud P2 an ejection systolic murmur in the pulmonary area due to pulmonary artery hypertension. We can also hear a mid-diastolic flow murmur in the tricuspid area due to increased flow across the tricuspid valve. In patients with a ostium primum ASD, we can hear a pan-systolic murmur in the mitral area if it is associated with the mitral regurgitation, which is quite common. The respiratory system must be example for crackles and this may be present if there's an associated mitral regurgitation. We look for congestive hepatosplenomegaly which may be present if there is a tricuspid regurgitation associated.